Alrighty, PG-13, this is G.I. Joe 1992, and we're going to look at the parasite, and you guessed it, the rat. They named another vehicle with a, the word rat or rat. <laughs> what is Hasbro's obsession with junk, I mean rat? You know, they couldn't come up with another cl clever name like the Cobra Slither. This has some cool cannons. <laughs> It's be spinning out. Rat! Cobra Rat! The Cobra Rat is on the attack! Nobody beats Shiajo! Here comes Cobra! Watch out for the rat! <laughs> the Cobra Rat! Looks like a bumper car! It's a bumper car! Watch out! We have the Flak Viper in there. He's a pretty cool. This seat's one. There is no foot pegs, and the thrusters do not, they do not invert. We have no inversion. You know, this could have been made way better. They could have lowered these. They could have put a turret on here, <clears throat> similar to the Cobra Water Moccasin. And they could have added some cool color. They could have filled this in, you know, What's one more piece of plastic? Get yeah, cheap asses. Look at, the, look at the design of this crap. Oh. <clears throat> now this is, this is mechanics. The engineers had a heyday here. Now watch out, you're gonna grind your legs on the, on, <laughs> uh, on the bar, watch out. Uh, geez. So this is definitely cheaply made. I am missing the rotors or the little propeller blades that go on here anyone wants to do donate a rat you know I can army build these I'm definitely gonna have to get another one because I want to do a custom and well this is not functioning properly without the blades <laughs> we're gonna have to get our technical team on this and we're gonna have to turn this into a custom nobody beats G.I. Joe watch out for the Cobra Rat Cobra it's a bumper car. The Cobra Ladybug. <laughs> Come on, look. This is a. This is one of the all-time worst vehicles. I don't think so. I think the other. There's a few other vehicles that might beat it, but it is in the all-time worst. <laughs> But because the hollowed out vehicle, it might take number one. But again, I mean, come on. Like, this one might take its place. Look <laughs> at that, is also hollowed out. But you know, like the brawler also was hollowed out. And uh, that really just made that vehicle crap to me. So, anyways, it does have bell wheels on it. But that might make it less crappy of a vehicle but mm, it's pretty crappy <laughs> nobody beats cobra rat <laughs> not the cobra rattler oh, not the gi joe ratfish <laughs> anyways so again they could have named this the slither would have been way cooler now moving on we have the cobra parasite it's got eight cannons like come on look at this thing it'll chop off your legs come on I'm coming I'm Arnold they call me slice but really my name is Arnold I'm hiding now I did not like this in the figures. As soon as they started doing this, that's when I was like, oh man, it's no longer G.I. Joe. You can't take him apart to fix the O-ring. Oh, I hated that. I absolutely loathe that. That they started cheaping out like that on the figures. Oh man. Oh. <clears throat> but we'll have a awesome look at the parasite here. Now the parasite looks to hold a lot of figures. We have the interrogator in there. Now you take a look inside this. 
We're gonna take him out of there. And look at that. Look inside here. It holds six, 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 six. Oh my god. It holds six figures. So this is a cool troop carrier. And you can paint it, you can make it into a custom, but it is awesome. Now, I don't know about those people out there that put the hate on the interrogator. I like the interrogator. He looks pretty friggin' awesome. He almost has like a bat shape. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. So anyways, this does close. Look at that. Now this is a, a catapult that's supposed to shoot our little parasites. Our parasite bombs. So, oh. <laughs> we don't have an elastic on it at the moment. This does come with three of these sort of parasite bombs. <laughs> They're full of the bug. Watch out. They've got the plague in them. Look at these oversized wheels. <clears throat> so it does have three of them. And I don't know if it came with four, but this is pretty cool. This cannon here at the back does not rotate up and down, so kind of sucks that way. Just kind of sort of covers something, <laughs> but you can pretend. <laughs> oh, you'll have to do a pop of wheelie if you want to get whatever's on the ground. This cannon here does rotate up and down and move side to side. Now the driver is in the open air canopy, you know, <laughs> he could get shot underneath, but look at all the cannons he's got. Huh? Ooh, this is kind of cool. You know, they, they should have made some stuff like this removable. But, oh well, it does not. <laughs> <clears throat> so again, I'm going to say it holds four on this side, four on that side. And well, that's 14. 15, 16, 17 figures, because it does hold another two on the back. Would you look at that? Nobody beats the Cuba Parasite! Mm. This is kind of cool. It would make for a cool custom. Even if you painted the body a different color, the purple seems to go well. But, ah, uh, this is kind of a clash. It's like a an orange-yellow. I don't know what color you'd call that. It does roll pretty good. And now, we're going to bring out the uh, tape measure. This is a very long vehicle. And it's going to be about, about 13, 13 and 3 quarters. So close to 14 inches here. With the guns out. This is a cool, cool vehicle. I do recommend you get a couple for your collection. And they make for, like I said, they hold six, so 15. That's a lot of figures you can haul into battle. Now, they could have done something else on the back. They could have... You know how you look at the like the, the demon tank? How they had that gun on the back? They could have had something right in the back here. Even they could have had a couple little cannons that could have moved side to side. So again, this vehicle is cool, but it seems to be unfinished. Instead of putting the cheap catapult gimmick on here, they could have had another turret that they could have put on here. And this thing would have had cool firepower. It would have had the best firepower ever. But instead we got the gimmick of the catapult. <laughs> you know, you think you'd be going more technological away from the primitive catapult. <laughs> that seems to be going back in technology. We've technologically advanced our catapult. Now it is a hydraulic catapult. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. Who thinks of this? <laughs> we gotta throw them a catapult. They need a catapult. You know, you could have had some missiles, a little missile rack on here, or a turret. And that would have made it more formidable. But this thing is lacking no missiles. So we have no missiles for our troop carrier. We just have a wicked cool cannon. But again, I still recommend this and you could make a custom. You could uh, attach some cannons to it if you wanted. Drill a couple holes in the back. Or you could cut this right off and put something on here. But again, this is, you know, 
it does have possibilities. Even if Hasbro was to redesign this and make this into something more. But there's a lot of issues going on in Hasbro. Apparently they fired their guy that does the classified sculpts after he completed 2023 and 2024. And there's a lot of firing and stuff going on in Hasbro. Hasbro doesn't seem to be... Hasbro seems to have a toxic work environment where they don't really care about their employees. Oh, no product in the stores for O-ring figures. Hmm. You know, all the issues that they're having. I think the real issues is Hasbro is just too cheap to share some of their profit to get their stuff and product into the stores. So why don't you sort out your crap there, Hasbro? But, oh well. Anyways, this is a cool vehicle. The Parasite. See, that's why I usually review three vehicles in a video, because you have time to do that. But instead, oh well. I don't collect the classified. I did get two of those classified figures. But, <clears throat> like I said, some people just love it. I don't really care for it. I don't want to get into another figure line that's a different size. You know, if they just stick to three and three quarters, we would have had some cool figures, but they had to do reaction figures. Even the reaction figures wanted to do the O-ring figures, but oh well, it didn't happen. So we don't know what's going on with Hasbro for this year. Are we getting any O-ring figures? You know, we don't know. Maybe they'll tell us in three weeks if we are or not. I'm pretty sure. I hope we are. But again, they're not going to end up in the stores. They're going to be $90 for two. Because <laughs> if you include shipping, if you're not in the U.S. So it's $45 a figure. And that's just kind of sad. Oh, not worth it. But, oh well, like, for $160, I could buy, <laughs> that ends up being four. I could I could have bought way more G.I. Joe's. I could have bought at least ten or more for that price. Because oh, you can get them $10 a figure easily. So I could have bought, like, 16 figures for the price of four. So that doesn't work out mathematically. And even at $30 a figure, <laughs> you could still find them online for pretty cheap. Well, it depends on how you price out your figures and depends what you get. You can get three for 20, three for 25. You never know. But that is loose. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm not into the Transformer crossovers, but I still might try to spring for that. The one with Stalker. I might get the Striker. I just, just don't want to spend that much for one vehicle and one guy. It doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, we already did for the Sky Striker. But at least we got seven figures with that. And it's still like four or five times the price. Because I think the 2011 was like 40 or $50 in the stores. So you look at the pricing. Anyways. Oh. Now, as for the war, well, again, you know, it's almost like a test ground. The U.S. is using Ukraine as a test ground and Russia is using U Ukraine as a test ground. So it's almost like, well, we're going to prolong this to see what kind of stuff we can do here. <laughs> oh, poor Ukrainians. They never get a break. Like, how many of them were killed off by the communists before? Like 12 million from starvation? Oh, or 16 million. Something stupid. And now they're doing it again. 